In chemistry, the pH of a substance can be determined using the formula provided here, also enlarged here on the right, where H plus is the hydrogen ion concentration of the substance. Solutions with a pH less than seven are said to be acidic, those down here, and solutions with a pH greater than seven are said to be basic or alkaline, those up here. The table below presents the pH values of some common substances. We want to use the pH function to answer the following questions. We first want to determine the hydrogen ion concentration of tomato juice. Notice tomato juice has a pH of four, so to find the hydrogen ion concentration, we'll substitute four for pH and solve for H. So we'd have four equals negative or the opposite of log H. And notice how this log does not have a base, which means it's common log or log base 10. Now we want to isolate the logarithm, then write the log equation as an exponential equation. That means we don't want this negative here, so if it's helpful we can think of this as negative one times the common log, and therefore to isolate the log, we want to either multiply both sides by negative one or divide both sides by negative one, which would give us the equation negative four equals log H. Again, this is common log or log base 10. And now we'll write this as an exponential equation, recognizing that the base is 10, the exponent is negative four, and the number, or it's equal to H. So again, as an exponential equation, we'd have 10 raised to the power of negative four equals H. So 10 to the negative four equals the hydrogen ion concentration, so we have our answer, but our homework does want this as a decimal, not as a fraction or an exponential form. So if we have H equals 10 to the negative four, that's equivalent to one divided by 10 to the fourth. 10 to the fourth equals 10,000, so we have one 10,000th as a fraction. So as a decimal, we'd have 0 0.0001. We have the tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths. And notice how our calculator is not much help on this. If we enter 10 to the negative four, we'd have 10 exponent negative four. It gives us scientific notation, not the decimal form. But we could type in point zero 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 one and see if it's the same in scientific notation, and it is. So our first answer is 0 0.0001. Next, we're gonna determine the hydrogen ion concentration of gastric acid. Notice that gastric acid has a pH of one. So to find the hydrogen ion concentration, we'd have the equation one equals the opposite of common log of the hydrogen ion concentration. Again, the base is 10. So we'll isolate the logarithm by dividing both sides by negative one or multiplying both sides by negative one, which would give us negative one equals common log of H. So again, we have a base of 10, an exponent of negative one, and the number is the hydrogen ion concentration. So again, we have 10 to the negative one must equal H. When writing a log equation as an exponential equation, we always start at the base, work our way around the equal sign to form the exponential equation. Again, 10 to the negative one equals H. So if the hydrogen ion concentration is equal to 10 to the negative one, that's equivalent to one over 10 to the first, or just one tenth, which as a decimal is just 0 0.1. So here's our second answer. Our last question is different. If the substance has a hydrogen ion concentration of 1.0 E negative nine, which means one times 10 to the negative ninth, it would have the same pH as which of these substances? So now they're giving us the hydrogen ion concentration, we wanna find the pH. So our equation would be the pH is equal to the opposite of the common log of one times 10 to the negative ninth. Of course, one times 10 to the negative nine is just 10 to the negative nine, so we could also write this as just the opposite of common log of 10 to the negative nine. 
So what we'll do now is go to the calculator, and then we'll come back and show how we can evaluate this without a calculator. And let's show how to enter both of these. First we have negative log, and then for our scientific notation here, one times 10 to the negative ninth, we enter one, and then second comma for this capital E, and then we just enter the exponent of negative nine, close parenthesis, and enter. And notice how the pH is nine. Or we could also enter negative log, and then 10, raised to the power of negative nine, right arrow, close parenthesis, and enter. Either way, the pH is nine. Now if we know about the properties of logarithms, we can evaluate this without a calculator. So if the pH is equal to the opposite of common log, let's write it in this form here, of 10 raised to the power of negative nine, the power property of logarithms allows us to take this exponent and move it to the front and multiply it by the logarithm. So again, this is the power property of logarithms. If you haven't learned this, you can just ignore this for right now. But applying this property, we'd have the pH equals the opposite of negative nine and then times the common log of 10. But the common log of 10 is equal to one. Notice how the base and the number are the same. So this does give us a pH of nine. So regardless of how we approach this, the pH is nine. So looking at our table, notice how baking soda also has a pH of nine. So whatever this substance is, baking soda has the same pH. So baking soda is our answer. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.